Hello everybody, welcome back to Angie's Diamond Painting Adventures. If you are new here, hello, my name is Angie, how are you doing today? If you are returning, thank you so much for returning today. As you saw in the title of this video, we are going to be doing step two for my beginner's guide to diamond painting. So in step one, we chose the canvas. Yes, that is step one. I did ask everybody which canvas you would like me to work on. So it was pretty much unanimous. I would say about 95% of everybody chose this canvas. So before we get into the canvas, I'm going to go over just a couple of things that you are going to need that do, does not come in the kit, but you should not have to go shopping for these things, okay? First thing you're going to need, in addition to what is in here, is a pair of scissors. Yep, need a pair of scissors. You will also need some scotch tape, any kind of scotch tape will work. You will also need a dryer sheet. Yep, I am going to show you what the dryer sheet is for. So, before we open up and see this lovely canvas, I'm going to show you, you are only going to need, well, you might need the whole dryer sheet, but I like to cut one of these smaller sections off. And you will see why in just a moment. So you're going to have the smaller piece and you're going to have the larger piece. Okay. All right. Let us get into the canvas real quick. This is, yes, the baby tiger cub blowing a kiss. Sorry for the crinkle, guys. Let us get it out of the package. Now you will notice that this has a clear covering on it so that means this canvas is poured glue which means for beginners you can roll this back okay just like this roll it back give it a couple of twirls there okay here are the beads, yes, we call them beads, diamonds, drills, I call them the pretties, yes, they make the canvas pretty. We're going to set that aside real quick and we're going to go over the toolkit. You will get a toolkit with every single diamond painting you purchase, okay? And we are going to use in this video everything that's in this bag, okay? So you will get a standard diamond painting pen with your single tip. Yes. You will get a chunk, a ch chunk, yes, a chunk of wax. Okay. It's going to look like that. All right. Well, I'm going to show you how to use that. And you will also get the green tray boat whatever you would like to call it, okay? So these three things are the main things for diamond painting, okay? I'm going to slide this over real quick as I drop the pen on the floor, yay. I'm gonna slide these over real quick and we're going to unroll this canvas and check out what we have. Yes. All right, there you go, guys. We have the baby cub blowing kisses yes all right you will find on your canvas you will have a legend in the upper left okay so you're going to have how many colors okay then you're going to have the symbol for each of the colors and sometimes you will have the DMC call, uh, numbers for the colors. This is not always, okay? 
you do not need these numbers in order to do any diamond painting, okay? So there's the one up there, and then there's another one down there. There we go, okay? Another thing that I like to do before I start diamond painting is I like to relax this clear cover, okay? Now, if you are brand new, here is a tip. Do not take this plastic covering all the way off, okay? This plastic covering is not double-sided. In other words, if you take this off and you put this back on on the wrong side, you're going to have a very hard time getting this plastic cover off. So, this is how I do it. I just go halfway, okay? Then I put slide my hand underneath and just smooth it out. Just smooth it out, okay? This top part did not work very well for me, so I'm going to pull it on a diagonal and smooth it out. That's it. Okay, so let's do go ahead and do it to the other side here, halfway, guys, and then smooth it out. That's it. Okay, now you can, if you want, it's not necessary, you can do what I just did and then stick this under your mattress or under some heavy books to flatten the canvas a little bit more. This canvas seems like it it pretty much flattened right away. Once I once I did that to the plastic, it flattened, okay? So, we've got the canvas flattened. The next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and get your drills, okay? Get the drills out of the package. All right? Here are the drills for this image. You are going to want to check either the DMC codes or how many different colors are in the canvas, okay? That's number one you want to check. Number two you want to check is to make sure you have the right drills for the image. And you're probably going, well, how do I know that if they don't have the DMC codes? Ha! Huh. Going to show you. If you look on this package, do you see that LY0863 right there? That number should be on the top of the canvas right there. L y 0863 that means these drills go to this canvas okay now for inventory purposes for this particular canvas only because it does not have DMC codes on the bags you just want to make sure that you have the number of colors okay so this one says it has 20 colors. Now it's very light, but it says it has 20 colors. So you want to make sure that you have 20 colors, okay? So we're going to quickly go through this and just count, okay? We're not going to look at colors, we're just going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we have all 20. Now you will notice that I skipped over one here. And that is because if you look at your packaging, they're both the same. Okay, so 15 and 15. So make sure when you're counting that you don't count you know, 15, 16, and two bags are the same color, okay? All right, next thing we are going to do before we start doing anything, this little tray, and any tray 
any new tray that you use. Remember that little piece of dryer sheet that I cut? Okay. Take your tray. Whoops. Try not to drop it. Take your tray and wipe it out. Okay. Just give it a nice wipe out. Now, what does this do? It prevents the beads. Doesn't prevent. It takes the static away from your tray. Okay. And it helps the beads when you're pouring them back in the bag. It helps them slide much easier back into the bag. Okay. So that's all I use the little one for. Just to get the static off the plastic. Next thing you want to do is you want to figure out, well, where do you want to start? Okay. This, that is a loaded question in diamond painting is where to start on the canvas. Okay. Now, I am right-handed, so for me, I always start in the lower right over here. And the reason why I start here is because when I'm going to place trays, you see where my wrist is hitting the table? That way, when I'm placing the drills here, my hand isn't getting stuck in the glue. If I were to start in the lower right, my hand would get stuck in the glue over here, okay? So if I start here, my hand's not getting stuck in the glue, okay? See, this is where the first drill is gonna be done. You see that? My wrist is all the way over here. So there's no way I'm gonna stick to any glue because there's nothing there, okay? The only place that I would suggest that you not start is in the middle. I mean, unless you want to keep hitting your hand in the glue, um, don't start in the middle, okay? If you're left-handed, start at the left, yes, the left bottom. Now, you can start up here, okay? You can start up here, but then you're going to be messing with the plastic, okay? It's just gonna it's gonna keep wanting to fold back on you. So you can if that works for you, great. Okay, do what works for you. That's the best part of diamond painting, finding what works for you and doing that. Okay, the only thing, guys, like I said, is I would not start in the middle. Okay, because you would have to lift all of this up, and then you've got a ton of exposed glue. And if if you keep putting your hand in here, it will deactivate the glue, okay? The glue will, will not, it won't stick anymore. So be very careful when you're diamond painting. Try not to keep your hand on exposed glue or it will deactivate it and you're going to have a very hard time sticking diamonds onto your canvas, okay? So we are going to start, or I am going to start, for you, it looks like it's the upper, but because it's close to me, it's in the lower right, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to diagonally lift that up, lift the plastic up. Then I'm going to check and see what symbol I need in this corner, okay? So it looks like... Wow, let me turn it around real quick so I can actually see what it is. It looks like it is the pound sign. Yes, it is the pound sign. Okay, this, this very first one in here is the pound sign. So I'm going to go here and find the pound sign, find what number it is, which it is number 13, okay? We're gonna go back to the beads, find number 13, grab our scissors, cut out the bag for number 13, okay? There's that. 
Hold on, let me double check, guys. Let me double check. No, it is a good thing I checked. It is not number 13. It is number 16. Number 16. So, let's bring our diamonds back and find number 16. There we go. Here's number 16. Yes, always double check before you start. Not that it's hard to get the diamonds off, it's just it can it can be a pain, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is grab my other piece of dryer sheet, okay? Open it up. I'm going to cut across the top here, okay? And when I dump this out, I am going to dump it out on this edge. This edge it has like it has a, a thick band there. Here on this edge the diamonds go all the way to the end. Okay. So I'm going to dump just a few into the dryer sheet. Okay. Now here's where the tape comes in. I'm going to fold that over. Grab my tape. And then stick it right there. Okay. Now it's closed. The beads are not going to fall out of that. Then I'm going to rub the beads on into the dryer sheet because if they are staticky, now I don't know if they were staticky or not, but I like to do this anyway. I rub these and then I just lift the dryer sheet, grab my tray. Yes. That just fell on the floor, guys. <laughs> I'm going to grab my tray. I'm going to put it on the table. And when I dump the beads, I'm going to dump them that way so they don't come out the spout. All right. They are in the tray. This is how I shake my tray. I just back and forth. And then I'll tap it on my wrist a little bit. And usually when I tap it, they all line up. Okay. Next, we need to prepare the pen. So here's the diamond painting pen. Here is the wax. Now, when I started, I did not know there's plastic on this wax, guys. Okay, so I was trying to put the pen in the wax. Yeah, it wasn't working. And then I realized, um, yeah, dummy, you need to take that plastic sheet off or bend it backwards just a little bit. Take your pen and then, now I usually do it three times, okay? And then your pen is loaded, okay? And then what I tend to do is I tend to take my finger now and just scrape off any excess wax that is coming out of the pen okay Let's scrape that off then we are going to start diamond painting guys yes and it is as simple as grabbing your tray pulling your sheet back make sure you guys are yes you guys are definitely in shock I like to keep my tray very close to where I am diamond painting okay that way I'm not moving my arm and my shoulder, okay? You simply touch the top of the bead. That's it. Just touch it. Do you see? It's on there. You do not need to press very hard. Just touch it, okay? Then you're going to go to where your symbol is that you're working on. This plastic does not want to work with me. There we go. You're going to go to where you're working on, which is right here in the corner, and you're going to touch the canvas. That's it. Just touch it. That bead is now on the canvas. Okay? If it's a little off, it's okay. It's not a big deal. Okay? You just move it to where you want it. There we go. I want it there. So I move it there. 
once again touch place very lightly okay see how it's it's just doesn't want to work for me today I don't know. there we go touch and cover the symbol that's all you're doing guys is covering that symbol that's it okay touch then touch touch then touch touch and touch I know I sound like a broken record but that's it guys okay if they're a little crooked don't worry about it you can move them around it's they're not permanently there it's not super glue okay you can move them around and then you can cover this and just rub your finger over it and it will adhere to the glue even better is that step necessary no okay but some people they want to make sure that that be, that drill is there okay and as you can see guys there you go okay that's it so all you're doing is you're finding the symbol on your legend list you grab that bag that is corresponding with the symbol you pour some in your tray and you just keep going okay now there are several different ways you can diamond paint okay you can diamond paint what they call cross country which means you take one bag you dump them all and you do that symbol throughout the entire canvas okay that's one way of doing it I don't do it that way okay and I have never done it that way unless I'm working on a special like a bookmark something very small okay then I will do it that way the way I diamond paint is I go by sections okay so for instance I started over here I'll find like a little section and then I will diamond paint that whole section then I'll go across and make make almost like a line and I'll show you here in a second make like a line all the way across each section okay across down and then I just work on that section by itself when that's done I move to the next section and so on and so forth until the entire painting is complete now we're gonna bring out bag number 16 again because we now need to put those away because I don't have any more in this section we're just gonna open it up real quick okay just open it up and then I'm going to take my tray and just tap and the beads should go back into the bag you can kind of move them slide them around to get them all out of your tray and then you just fold this over put it off to the side and move on to your next color okay our next color I am going to work on the question marks so I need to find where the question marks are on my guide okay question mark is number five so we go back to our strip of beads and we find number five Alright, four and number five. We're going to take number five off the strip. Okay. Take number five off the strip. And we're going to, once again, cut across like this. Going to grab my dryer sheet. Put some in here. Okay. 
grab my tape. I'm going to fold that over. I'm going to grab my tape. Put a piece of tape on there. Put it off to the side. We're going to try to get the static out of these beads. Just rub them inside the dryer sheet. Take your tray, dump your beads into the tray. Okay. Sometimes you gotta encourage the beads to go into the tray. One wanted to escape the drill tray. We're going to shake back and forth. And like I said, I like to tap, tap, tap. They all line up nice, nice. See that? Nice, nice. Once again, we're going to peel back the plastic cover. And we are going to do, I'm going to section off, like I said, section off where I want to go. Okay? So I want to go, let's go here. Light touch, light touch light touch light touch I am not worried if it is not straight I will fix that later I'm just going to the question mark see you can you can move them around guys just like that and then I will go to the next one I am just creating a line okay this is how I section my diamond paintings. I create a line. Okay. Now I'm going to come down this way to form a box. See that guys? I hope you can see that. Yeah. I went across and now I'm coming down. I'm only going on to the question marks. My hand is stuck in the glue. Not good. I'm only going to where the question marks are, okay? So wherever there's a question mark in this line, I will put a bead. Question mark, put a bead, okay? We have one across the top. Well, no, we have a couple more. There's one there, and there's one there, and there is one there, okay? So there's my box. Boom. Boom. So now everything that's inside of here that is a question mark, I will be placing a drill. Okay. Just, I'm basically, I'm just filling it in. I'm only doing the question marks. Okay. Now, I mean, I, I have been diamond painting for quite some time, so this is quite a small section for me. What I usually do is I will do the question marks all the way across this canvas and then just fill in all the question marks and then move on to the next section, okay? But that's all you're doing, guys. You're just touching, just touching the bead to pick it up, find your symbol, touching it to place it. That's it, okay? So... I hope I have explained things well for you today. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. Our next video will be accessories videos. You know, what you may want to decide to get uh, in addition to what you get already have in your kit. Okay. Now, where do I put the bags that I have opened? Quite simply, remember the crinkling bag? Yeah. I just take the beads and I put them back in here. That's it. Okay? If you are brand new to diamond painting and you don't have storage or anything like that, a way of keeping, keeping them, just put them right back in, in this bag. It works. Okay? All right, guys, I think that's going to do it for step two. That was inventory and getting started. 
Like I said, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask in the comment section down below. At this point, guys, I will bid you all adieu, but not before I remind you to always do what you love, love what you do, and always stay adventurous. I love you guys. Bye.